Hey, what's going on? Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com and we're doing a 98 Dodge Ram project here. I'm helping my godfather out. He got it as a quick flip. We're not doing a crazy show job on it, but he wanted to take out some of the large dents on this truck and paint the front, paint the bed, and I'm show you exactly how I do this. For the full version, check out LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Check it out, the VIP course. I think you're really gonna like it. But anyway, watch the series, study it, learn from it. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I think you're really gonna like this video. Thanks, talk to you soon, bye. Oh, and don't forget, when you're done watching this video, get your free 85-page DIY Auto Body and Paint Manual. Just tell us where to send it, and we'll send you a download link. Enjoy. So it looks like it got hit in the front right here, right? So we're gonna pull this grill off, take the dent out, bondo it up, and get that all flat. What I might do with this grill, I'm thinking we'll clean it up and we'll paint it a flat black. So all of this looks black in the front and it'll look really nice. This is gonna be really easy. Take me 20 minutes to take it out and put a coat of bondo on it. We're gonna grind it, weld some pins in, pop it. In the back here, we're gonna pull this dent out do the body work and then paint, basically paint the green from here up, base it and clear, clear the side of the bed. So before doing any real body work, you wanna grind down all the damaged areas. This way you could do your spot welding, pull out the dents and do your filler and all of that. So main thing, clean the area that has to be body worked with a grinder. Now we're doing a little bit of spot welding right here. Seconds you ever used this machine before? Never. We're pretty easy, right? First time. <laughs> Not too bad for a 76 year old. Bob. Not too bad. <laughs> pressure on it. Yeah, Whack cool. it. A couple times. Hold the pressure with the right hand. Just like that. And then we'll... You like that? Just... There you go. Okay. Now before laying any kind of putty, you want to make sure you sand with 80 grit around all your bodywork areas. This way you could feather in your bodywork and bondo, right? You see how we have it scuffed all around the area there? That's very important. This way you could blend it in. So here we're doing a little bit of rasping to save some sanding time, right? And a rasp is always pretty cool to use. And I show you how to use that uh, in other videos on the website. We're laying our second coat of body filler here, right? Large dents usually take two to four coats, you know, depending on how much body work there is. Smaller areas, you know, usually get up with one coat, two coats. Here we are rasping it down again. Now we're using the straight sander to give us some straight, some guide coat there to, and then we're gonna be doing the hand block, crisscrossing it with a 40 to 60 to 80 grit, whatever you really want to use. I'm using an 80. Godfather here is sanding the whole hood down with a 320. I'm using the straight sander here on the quarter panel to get my nice flat edge. I'm making the crease right here, the fender crease. Once you learn to use these tools, they're pretty you know, fun to use. They'll save you some time and uh, very, very fun process. Spraying a little bit more guide coat so we could use our block and finish it off nice and flat. Okay, then after this is done, we're gonna go ahead and use a polyester putty and fill all of this in really, really nicely. Okay. So we laid about three heavy coats on here, polyester putty. Then what you wanna do after this is check for imperfections. If there's any chips that you missed, you could fill it with uh, regular glaze putty. I use a polyester glaze putty in a tube. And then we cut everything down with 400 grit wet sand. Well, you could cheat and use a DA quick, and then you wanna wash it off with a 400 wet sand, and then you're ready for paint. Perfect, that's all you want to do. We'll do that to all the panels and we're done. You can see that I'm washing everything down with a 400 grit. 
getting it ready for paint. Tony, what are you going to do with something like this? We've got a little primed already. Now we have to worry about this thing. All right, so what he's talking about is, say, you know, where everything is done ready for paint, yeah. but we missed a chip here, right, a gouge. What do we do? All right, so it's not too late. All you got to do if you find something like this is make sure it's dry, right? We want to dry the area. Then we use something called uh, spot putty. Okay, it's a polyester spot putty. We'll put it on there, let it dry. Block sand it out and then you're and right here I'm using the Warwick 980 spray gun. You can check that out at the store at learnautobodyandpaint.com forward slash shop. It's a real amazing high quality spray gun. Okay, so this is my father's trick. Usually this goes on your mask like that. Okay? So what he does is put a little toilet paper on it, takes the uh, the heavy stuff out. And then we put it on like this. So it's like a little pre pre filter. This is what it looks like. So it takes out, you know, a lot of the, the, the initial heavy overspray. So this then we are gonna mix our paint up, then tack it down, okay? Tack rag is the final step. And then we will start our base coat. So this is base coat. Uh, it's a 50-50 mixture. So we but do this is the coat we, mean, we use this, you mean base coat. We put another coat on top of it. Clear. Oh clear. Yep, this paint this uh Alright, Godfather is here tacking all the panels down prior to paint. I'm getting ready. Uh, we already did the wax and grease remover and then it's tacking down, mix up our base coat, fill the cup, lay two to three coats of base, and then two coats of heavy clear. When doing little touch-up repair jobs like this, you always want to cover your primer area first. But you can see that I'm not painting the whole hood yet. I'm going to put two coats on the primer areas, then I'm gonna go over the hood, the, the entire panel, right? The whole hood, the whole fender with two coats as well, All right? So first you wanna cover this because it's light, right? If you just covered the whole panel, this will still be a little bit gray. So you make sure you get this to same color first, you know, like the dark green, and then you paint the whole panel like I'm doing right now, right? So here we are basing the entire hood. And you know, there is hail damage on the hood and we didn't want to spend too much time doing a bunch of body work. We just wanted to get that main front grill fixed up, the big dent in the front. You know, he's flipping the truck. So we decided that it wasn't worth the extra time to put into the hood and to, to do a, custom, you know, a show job. It wasn't worth it. All right, so we're gonna finish laying our clear coat. I think I have to fill the gun one more time. Uh, then we'll lay our second coat of clear on this thing. Here we are. It just had a little bit of clear left over. So we're just gonna fill the gun, make sure it's, we got all the material in there. And we're laying our second coat. You wanna see how we just walk down the entire panel here. 50% overlay, we're spraying at about 29 to 30 PSI. Getting great atomization out of the gun. It's gonna come out nice and glossy. And I purposely left this section long because people like to see the painting process, right? How you actually spray. See, I'm about four to six inches away from the panel here, making sure it's nice and wet and glossy. That's one thing where a lot of newbies make a mistake is they don't put enough clear on it. That's why it comes out dry and orange peely, right? Orange peel is not enough clear. Uh, drying too quickly, 
or an improper mixture, right? You're not spraying correctly or spraying at a, at a too low of a PSI, right? That's gonna give you orange peel. So just don't be afraid to lay your clear coat on, is what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's easier to fix and buff out a run than it is to try to buff out a dry spot, right? It's, it's better to have more clear than not enough. So this is like Christmas. You're unwrapping the Christmas gift, taking off all the paper. It's one of my favorite parts. Now here what we're doing is doing some plasti dip on the front grill and we're peeling off the excess plasti dip off the emblem and now the complete job is pretty much done. What we're doing is buffing out the rest of the panels so it matches, so it brings out the resilience of the old paint to match the new paint, right? Because we just did a touch up. We didn't really do a blend job on here. We just painted panels. Oh my godson did, Paul, if you looked at the previous pictures you see this hood was dented in like this it's in here you guys might have noticed the initial look how smooth and blended in where is the patch and repair oh but he went along a pinstripe this whole thing you all the pinstriping that's pretty cool that's you, pretty close oh, to me that is close that is per the factory specs so i hope you enjoyed this series uh, we have tons of more videos at learnautobodyandpaint.com. Check out the VIP course. I think you'll like it. Also, don't forget to go to learnautobodyandpaint.com to grab your free 85-page auto body and paint manual. Just put in your email. Tell us where to send the download link, and uh, we'll send it to you. Have a great day. Please like, share, and subscribe. Talk to you soon. Bye.